everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel, Nana M. My name is Lynn. Uh, welcome to you. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, the weather this morning is, it's fine. It's not raining. I think it's forecast to rain a little bit later on. It's not very warm, but it's, it's not cold either. So I thought today what I would do is I'd do a uh, spend the day with me. So um, I'm going to go this morning to have a sunbed. But first of all, I'll show you the outfit of the day. Well, this is the outfit that I'm starting with because I'm going for a sunbed. Easy to take off, easy to put back on. So I've just got um, a white long sleeved t-shirt. I've got some leggings and I've got my pumps with no socks on. So that's all I need to take off when I go. And I'm just going to wear my gile just for some warmth. This is the gile that I got from Tesco and I washed it yesterday. And it's washed really, really well. I just thought I'd let you know that bit. And it smells beautiful. You know, like when you put comfort in and it's all your washing smell. Mm, yeah, so cosy, cosy and warm. So yeah, so I'm going to do a spend the day with me um, and uh, yeah, just take you along and see what I get up to. I do intend later on to go to Tesco. Uh, we need to do, I haven't been shopping. We called in last Tuesday just to get some eggs and some bread on the way back from um, somewhere that we had to go. And um, no, Wednesday it was. Yeah, Wednesday. But prior to that, all we got were little bits. And prior to that, Ivy had been going. So I really do need to kind of like think about what we're going to do for the rest of the week. And as you know, I was having those meals that my son kindly uh, purchased for us that were delivered. Already cooked, already portioned. All you had to do was microwave them for three minutes. And they have been an absolute godsend while I've been poorly. Absolute godsend. Um, but we are now ready for a bit of um, Lynn's home cooking. So, uh, yeah. So I'll be going to Tesco. So I'll also have a look at the clothing section because I know in my mind now that I've done my capsule wardrobe, well, I'm trying to do a capsule wardrobe. And the things, the colours that I need to look for and the items that I need to look for. If they don't have them, I won't be buying. New Year, new me. What about that then? Tesco will be very, very disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So let's see where today takes us. See you in a bit. So as you can see, I'm in the car on my way. Um, and I might go to Tesco later. In fact, I am definitely going to Tesco later. Um, so I'll probably show you um, the shop when I come back, the haul. Um, but just on the way here, I just wanted to have a little chat. Might as well take this opportunity to have a chat with you. Um, you will know if you follow me that um, I am trying to get myself into uh, a mindset where I'm not willy-nilly buying things. I'm, I'm going to try and get myself in the mindset where I'm clear before I even go out of the house what the intention is, should I want to buy something. So that I'm not just randomly wandering about thinking, oh, that's nice, oh, that's nice. I've said this on a, a vlog that I did um, about my wardrobe. So not only do I want to apply that principle to my wardrobe, um, I also want to apply it to the rest of my life. So, um, so I want to apply it to the home as well. So, like I said earlier, I don't want to go out this is what I used to do before. I would go to B&M Bargains, um, I would go to Home Base, not Home Base, Tesco, well we all know what I'm like in Tesco, and um, Home Bargains, 
blah blah blah. Primark, Primark Hall next. And I would, if I saw something, I said, "Oh, isn't that really nice?" And I would buy it. And then I bring it home, and I think, "Well, where's it going to go?" Because I'd gone out, not specifically looking for something, and just saw something that I liked. And then you end up with all these pieces of decor that don't go together. <laughs> They're just random. So I need to try and retrain my mindset not to do that. And I think it will make me feel calm. Does that make sense to anybody? I know what I mean, but I don't know if I'm explaining it the way I should explain it so that you understand it. But I'm trying. <laughs> I know what I mean. Anyway, I'm nearly there, so I might have a chat again um, when I go to Tesco. Well, That was a waste of uh, a trip. Oh, look, somebody's sat in car behind me clapping. There's some strange people in this world. And I meet them all. <laughs> when I was younger, and I used to See, somebody wants to get it back at me now, honestly. When I was younger and I used to travel on the bus, if there was a strange person got on the bus, I can guarantee you that they'd sit next to me. 100%. <laughs> that was a waste of time. I walked in the shop. Bless her, she's lovely. And she said, oh, I'm really sorry, Lynn. Um, got the electrician here and he's sorting the fuses out. So can you come back in half an hour? I said, of course I can. It's all right, don't worry. She kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, don't be sorry, don't be silly. It doesn't matter, these things happen, don't they? It said electrician's fault because he told her that he'd be there half an hour ago and he, and he wasn't. So anyway, I'm going to go home. I, was, I thought, shall I go shopping? And I thought, no, I won't because then I'll rush myself. And I don't like rushing when I'm going around the shop, especially Tesco. So I said, no, you're all right. I'll go home and I'll come back and then I'll do Tesco later on. Yeah, so that was really a waste of a trip, but it doesn't matter not the end of the world so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna have a brew um, I won't film anything because there's no time really nothing interesting anyway and then see what we get up to later bye for now so uh, I went back for my sunbed and the electrician had finished and um, I went last, last year, before, I always go before I go on holiday and um, a nice surprise, I had 30 minutes left on my card so um, I just did 9 minutes, that's what she said to it, you know, because I haven't been on for a while, I just did 9 minutes so um, I came back home after the sunbed, I've picked my shopping bags up for Tesco and I've picked three bags of um, clothing that I've sorted out for the charity bins. So I'm going to drop them off first and then go into Tesco and um, do the shop and see what they've got. If they've got anything nice, I'll be having a look. But like I said um, previously, I'll just be looking at um, things that I know um, would be good to add to you know, the wardrobe that I've, well, not the wardrobe, the rail that I've sorted out. Yeah? And the sun's shining. 
charity bins before I park up to go inside Tesco uh, and I'm just going to put a few bags inside and then I shall be going in there <laughs> behave Lynn Just got back from Tesco, so I'll show you what I bought. Um, I'll start with the meat. I got some um, British lean diced beef steak, um, and there's how many grams? Doesn't say. Oh yeah, four hundred grams, four pound fifty because I'm going to make some steak puddings, homemade steak puddings with that. Yum, yum. And then I got two lots of 5% um, fat minced steak, Irish lean beef, £3.49 each, because I'm thinking I might do some um, batch cooking with those for the freezer. So I got two of those. I got um, an unsmoked gammon joint, 750 grams, £4.75, a nice lean one. So that'll probably go in the slow cooker, like that. And it will generally do us at least two teas. So it's uh, quite good value is that. I got two packets of uh, unsmoked back bacon, Woodside Farms, £1.45 each. Two of those. And then I got some uh, smoked bass of fillets, £2.50. We like those as well. And I like, more than Ivy really, um, boneless salmon fillets, £4.85. So I'm thinking, because I'm still on my healthy eating, or at least trying to be, uh, and I like salmon, so yeah. Four pound eighty five for two. It's expensive, but I like it. And then I got some sausages. Uh, Twelve pork sausages for two pound eighty five. They were on offer. Um, yeah, so I got twelve. And I think that's it for the meat. So then I I will show you though that I got three three of these calorie controlled, ready-made dinners. So I got, uh, they were £3.25 each, or if you bought three, I think they were £7.20. And um, so I got um, sweet and sour chicken to give it a go. They're handy, aren't they, to keep it in the freezer. And then when you don't feel or you haven't got time to cook, um, you just pull them out, there you go, Bob's your uncle. Uh, chicken and mushroom sauce, that looks nice got potatoes and green beans in and then 
Thai green chicken curry. And I opened the sleeve to see if I could see how much chicken in. There seems to be quite a bit, so we'll see. So, um, yeah, that's only 355 calories, that one. This one's 269, the chicken in mushroom sauce. And this one is 347. Sweet and sour chicken. So they'll go in the freezer. I got some trusted old mashed potatoes, £1.25. Or you could, I didn't get them, but you could get three for two, but I only got one. Because my freezer's a bit full, really, to be honest. And then I got some flora, £2.15. Twelve eggs. Free range. One pound eighty-five for six, but I got twelve. I got uh, um, one liter of semi-skimmed low-fat milk. One pound twenty, and I'm thinking that I'm going to try and make yogurt now with the low-fat. So I got that. And I also got this that's got live cultures in, but this was expensive and I didn't realise this was £1.50. Uh, but it's got the live cultures in and it's not percent fat, so it'll be interesting to see how much different that tastes from the one I did in the Kasori. So I'm looking forward to doing that and I'm not going to do it in the Kasori, I'm going to do it on the hob because a few people have asked if I can show how you make it, if you don't have an Instapot, so that's what I'm gonna do. So that'll be coming up soon. And then I just got six of these um, Creamfields um, berry yogurts. They're only 95 pence for six. That's for if um, I get a little visitor that likes yogurt. <laughs> and then I got a cauliflower. And this was um, 99 pence. Nice work one. We like a bit of cauliflower. I got a uh, savoy cabbage, 69 pence. Some fresh food inside me. Got some carrots. I'll back to cook these as well. Um, and it's a kilogram. And they were 65 pence for them. I got these um, three for two, um, a pound each, uh, prepared onions because when I looked at the yellow onions, they didn't look, they were all bruised and battered. So I thought I'll get three of them and then I can just pull one out or half a one even i might split these up into half a pack and then freeze the rest and then none of them are going to go to waste so that's the onions but if i want to put some in a salad i've got some red onions uh, so i got a pack of these these were 95p red onions slice them up put them in a salad that'd be nice so i got um, a little like tub of salad and I'll probably split this into three and add to it as well and that was one pound and five p the date on it's first of feb so I know I can't split it in three can we yeah, can today tomorrow day after that's that I got some radishes that I'm gonna prepare chop up and um portion them out put some of these in the freezer 49. I call these scally onions. I don't know what you call them, but yeah, I call these scally onions. 39p. Scally onions. I got some bananas. And these were these were what were these? 78 pence. There's two, four, five in. Five. I've got some uh, blueberries, £1.59. 
This is for my yogurt. I've got my yogurt in the morning. I've got some strawberries that were reduced and I'm going to chop them up, um, portion them out and put these in the freezer. Uh, £1.44 strawberries. And I also got some baby plum tomatoes and they were um, a pound, nine, 75p because they were um, they were either an Aldi price match or a club card offer. Can't remember now. So that was those. Uh, if I decide to have porridge, I'm not having um, normal milk anymore. I haven't been doing for a while. I've been having um, almond milk. But I saw this today, no sugar is oat milk. So I'm going to give that a try as well once my almond milk, milk's gone. Uh, because this is... Oh, 25th of the 2nd, 24th, so I'll have to use this one first. Mm. I didn't see that, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. So I'm going to have to use that. I'm going to have to have porridge a few days for my breakfast. Use that one up. I got some Lloyd Grossman um, Bolognese Original to make me Bolognese with. That was £3.75, minus 75, so it ended up three £3. And it was nearly that for a small one. So, got a big one to batch cook. I got a Tesco's tomato ketchup, 1.10p, because I'm running out. Got four tins of chopped tomatoes for the spag bowl, uh, £1.80. A tin of black eyed beans, 59p, because I'm going to do some salads and some lentils. Healthy, healthy. I uh, got some chickpeas, 59p. Nice again, healthy. And British marrow fat peas, 55p. So, as well as that, I got a Warburton's loaf. This was one pound forty. Uh, twin pack of Tesco Jaffa cakes, one pound thirty-five. Nescafe Cappuccino, £2.10 for a treat for me. Got some fig rolls. These were 50p. Fig rolls for change. Uh, some shortbread biscuits, 65. Let's go. Nice biscuits, 65. And some dark chocolate digestive. 85 and I also got these for a treat at night if I get a bit peckish um, I started having this sweet and salty um, pack of cup popcorn £1.50 for six and there are only 71 calories in each bag so the night time I, I like to have one of those so I've got two of those and my friends that is it. So all that came to £81.13p. But there are quite a few meals there because um, I'm going to be like batch cooking. So yeah, that should see, uh, see me through for a while in a cuppa. Mm, needed that. Um, I got something else. <laughs> if you've been watching my clothing vlogs, you know that I'm trying to do a capsule wardrobe, go through everything. And I needed navy blue or white, and I found this. So I think that's gonna look really nice. Cotton. Is it cotton? Supporting more sustain sustainably farmed cotton. Yeah. Size 12 I got because it's quite roomy. So yeah, that's something to add to my navy blue.
and put all the shopping away now and um, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. I'm back. <laughs> I forgot to show you these earrings uh, that I got from Tesco. They were four pound and I quite like those. So I think what I'm going to do every time I go on holiday, I think I think these are going to match um, the necklace that I bought from Nex. That was £10. You've seen me wearing it. It's like a hoop inside a hoop. Very similar to that. So I think I'll take just those two things. I think I'll take that for gold and then I'll take something pearl um, and a pair of pearl earrings. And I think that's all I'm going to take. And that's all I'm going to use when I put my outfits together for my capsule wardrobe. That's what I've decided. Because gold will go with anything, really. And my pearls will go with anything as well. So pearls will be, you know, just a little bit more elevated, shall we say. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I bit into a blueberry and it's gone. It went like that. I don't know if it's going to come out that. I've tapped it with some uh, water and bleach, but anyway, there you go. So, when I've looked back on what I've filmed up to now, um, well, I've filmed other bits, I've had to take some out for a new video because this bit already um, has ended up 25 minutes and that's enough for anybody to listen to me and watch me 25 minutes. It'll be more with this bit added on the end. So, um Whatever I've done after this bit uh, will be on a second video. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to anybody that's watched. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you look forward to the second bit. And um, please either give me a thumbs up, a little heart on the comment. Uh, no, yeah, a like. Press the like button. Um, if you can't be bothered to comment, you could maybe just put a heart and um subscribe if you're not subscribed share with your friends if you think they might be interested and that's it really so um i hope you have a lovely rest of the week or weekend uh, whatever it might be and fingers crossed i hope to see you on the next one so thank you and bye for now bye bye